Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Teron of ChasingCinema.com. Thank you for tuning into our official YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about new releases. Today is uh, Tuesday, which means that I'm always going to be concentrating on a DVD new release. Now, uh, Inherit Vice came out today, Paddington came out today, but unfortunately since I actually didn't see Paddington yet, and Louis, my co-writer, reviewed Inherent Vice, and that leaves me to talk about The Boy Next Door, the film from Rob Cohen that stars Jennifer Lopez and Ryan Guzman, or Guzman, still not sure. Um, so I saw this movie very early in the year, and I thought, you know, the only thing I kept thinking of was, oh, enough. I remember enough in how J-Lo kind of learned to kind of overcome this abusive husband. And eventually they go hand to hand on, uh, on one part. But uh, this was a movie that... I thought could be cheesy good and maybe like if it had anything going for it was that it could be like eh like it was all right it was kind of funny cheesy or something really off to kind of make it good but unfortunately I don't really remember much about it and that was only two three months ago I can't even remember really when it came out but three months sounds about right if I saw it in January it might have been February but uh anyway uh, this film follows the story of this teacher who, her and her, who's recently in, but like kind of in between divorce. She's not divorced, and her son, who's you know getting used to living without his dad and still trying to communicate with his dad, and who befriends a next door neighbor named Noah. And uh, as these two get close, Jennifer Lopez kind of flirts with this kid a lot, and uh, before you know it, they share some actions that aren't approved, especially when you're a teacher. And uh, Ryan Guzman and Jennifer Lopez end up having sex, and uh, Ryan Guzman then kind of loses his mind after Jennifer Lopez says, this isn't right, I'm a teacher, this is wrong, and, and tries to essentially erase the whole situation. Ryan Guzman, or Guzman, does not let that happen. Uh, he registers in her class, he starts kind of stalking her, starts making threats. He's, you know, hanging out with her son to kind of manipulate him and uh, rejecting his father who's trying to get back in the picture. So, and then this movie go, comes and, and completely ends in this most re ridiculous, crazy, uh, climactic barn scene I think I've ever seen. It's just ridiculous. But there's the best friend who's trying to tell Jayla what to do. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's not good. And it's not cheesy bad either, where it's like, oh, you know, it's... All right, I can't get to hang with it. It's, there's not much entertaining. I think it was a pretty short movie, but it felt long. It just was like, all right, I'm over it, you know. And there's like these ridiculous plot scenes. Like I remember one, like at one point in the movie, Jennifer Lopez goes and investigates what happened to, to Noah's parents, and it's just like, how is she talking to these people, and why are they telling her all this information? Just all over the place. It was a movie that I was not a fan of. So if I were you and I was walking down the Target new releases aisle or wherever you'll be shopping, Amazon, so on and so forth. Amazon's awesome. I always recommend them. Uh, I would highly <laughs> avoid the boy next door. And find yourself purchasing Paddington, which I've actually heard a lot of good things about, or Inherent Vice, which many people loved. Uh, I myself seen Inherent Vice, but um, not as crazy about it as it seems uh, a lot of people were. Um, but I think that's okay because, you know, um, that was stated way in advance that um, this movie isn't going to be for everybody. It's not going to have that kind of... Um, fluid plot that everyone likes to follow it's not very structured it's just kind of more about watching these characters exist rather than watching them on a journey which isn't necessarily my style that's i mean but then again i've seen movies like that that are really amazing but that one in particular uh but paul thomas anderson just didn't strike me as well as it strike uh my co-writer so if you want though you can totally go check out his review of inherit advice on chasing um but that's going to wrap it up here for me because the dogs are going crazy. Uh, avoid the boy next door as quick as you can. My name is Jacob Toronto. You can find mine and Chasing Cinema's social media websites here down here in the description box. Hit subscribe so you're constantly being updated with movie news, casting details, movie reviews, trailer reviews, podcasts, all that fun stuff. Uh, hit the like button to show your support. And uh, let me know, did you like the boy next door or did you buy hair advice or patents in today? Let me know in the comment section here below. Again, my name is Jacob Toronto and please continue Chasing Cinema.